Hi, Mike Gibson here with Access Points, and I'm joined by Steve Nissen. Welcome, Steve, and Thank Luke you. Laffin. And we're talking about low dose resuvastatin and dietary supplements. Tell us what you found. So we found that a low dose of statin is much superior to any of the six supplements or placebo that we studied in terms of lowering LDL cholesterol. And, you know, in terms of inflammatory markers, anything there? So we didn't see any change in inflammatory markers for resuvastatin compared to placebo or any of the supplements compared to placebo. Now, what kind of dietary supplements were these? I mean, this is a multi-billion dollar a year business. Uh, the people are spending so much more on these supplements. Steve, I mean, talk to us. $50 billion a year yes. spent on supplements. You know this as a clinician. Patients come in with a list of the supplements they're taking. Patients believe that these supplements are as effective as statins for cholesterol and safer. And we did this study because we think there's a very big public health problem. These are unregulated. Uh, they, uh, no one can even confirm that they contain what they say they contain. And they clearly, in Dr. Laffin's study, had no efficacy. In fact, one of them, garlic, raised LDL cholesterol in a statistically significant fashion compared with placebo. They compared the resuvastatin to the supplements, but did you look at the combination of the two? Because some of these supplements may undo, undo some of the good that some of our drugs it, it, it's very possible. We did not look at them in combination with resuvastatin, but the other supplements we did look at were fish oil, turmeric, cinnamon, plant sterols, and red yeast rice, along with the garlic that Dr. Nissen mentioned. Well, the, the red rice can contain some statins in it, so uh, that of all of them might have some benefits. So, Steve, where are we on the, uh, on the fish oil supplement side of the world? Well, you know, as you, you know, all of the fish oil studies, all of them, were, were ne did not show any benefit. And the one that purported to show benefit now is under serious question, which is the ethyl study, now that we've learned that the mineral oil uh, was not actually a neutral placebo. So I think there is no reason for people to take fish oil. So take home message. Cardiologists, primary care doctors, they need to talk with their patients and show them the evidence that these supplements don't work and if it's a discussion about starting cholesterol-lowering medicines, go with what's tried and true, low-dose statin. All right. Thanks, Luke. Thanks, Steve. And thanks to all of you for joining us here at Access Points.